So let's take a look at some vocabulary that will help you to talk about your studies. On the left hand side, you can see a list of words and on the right is a list of synonyms. So can you match the word to its synonym? The first one is a class. Can you find the synonym for a class? The second word is a lecturer. Can you find the synonym for a lecturer? The third word is a report. Can you find the synonym for a report? The fourth word is a qualification. Can you find the synonym for a qualification? The fifth word is a subject. Can you find its synonym? And the last word is a pupil. Can you find the synonym for the word pupil? I suggest that you can pause the video here to write down your answers. So here are the answers. How many did you get right? I suggest focusing on any words that you got wrong or any words that you are unfamiliar with. Let's look at some questions and example answers. Here is our first question. What subjects are you interested in? I'm interested mainly in languages. I like studying English and French and also my own language, Japanese. I particularly enjoy reading in foreign languages and I love listening to English lectures. Now that's a solid band six answer. But if you're taking it for academic purposes, you're going to want a band 7 or 7.5, depending on the university. So how can we improve the answer? Let's take a look again at the idea of lexical resource. As many of you watching this video wish to go to university in the UK, you'll most likely be aiming for a band 7 or above. Here, you can see the marking criteria for a band 7 score regarding lexical resource. A band 7 skill level is referred to as a good user. So you are allowed to make some inappropriate word choices, but you should be able to use vocabulary flexibly and be able to use some less common vocabulary. You can find all of the marking criteria on the IELTS website. I'll share a link for that in the comments. So what can we do in order to improve our answer? As you can see, I changed some of the vocabulary used. We can swap out my own language for my native language, and we can add in especially to the final sentence. This will help improve our overall answer. It is important to remember not to memorize your answers as that will appear unnatural. It can be useful, however, to memorize phrases that you can put into many different answers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and check out our other videos. You can find loads of useful links in the description below. Let's get started.